Well, we're taking a live look now at the state capitol. Flags are at half staff in honor of minority leader Hugh McKean. He died last week from a heart attack. He was just 55 years old. McKean will lie in state at the capitol today, followed by a ceremony with lawmakers, family, and a military honor guard. We want to bring in Roger Hudson to join us this morning, who worked closely with Hugh McQueen, uh, McKean as the Republican Caucus's Deputy Chief of Staff. Uh, Roger, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Uh, we know it's an emotional time uh, for you coming off Election Day and now taking a moment to remember a prominent state political figure. Can you talk to us of, about Mr. McKean and how he'll be remembered? Yeah, I, I certainly can. And, you know, today is, uh, is obviously a solemn day, but it's also an important day, uh, not just for us, but also the Senate here in Colorado. We, uh, we come today uh, specifically because today is also our leadership election days. Uh, the Senate comes in, so does the House, because we're going to elect our new leadership. So today is not only the day we lie in state with uh, you, McKean, but this is the day we elect a new minority leader. So this is also his last day to mm. be leader. Uh, when we come here, we'll have a new leader who will speak about you, McKean, here in the rotunda, along with uh, Governor Polis, uh, former governor, Bill Owens, and also uh, uh, Speaker Alec uh, Garnett. So it's, a, it's an important day because we'll now have a transition of power here at the state capitol. Yeah. A chance also to really bridge party divides here. Of course, that won't be part of it. Uh, lying in state, as we've said, is a rare honor. Why did you make the request to the governor for this? Why did we? You know, I, I couldn't remember the last time it happened. Actually, it was uh, 2013 uh, with Lieutenant Governor uh, uh, Rogers. It was the last time. And when I uh, called the governor to make this request, he and I both kind of went, hmm. Uh, his first response was, that's really interesting. I, I, I don't remember anybody ever making this request before. And I have to say that he has been incredibly gracious. Uh, his staff has been uh, uh, just amazing. They have uh, stepped up at every turn. Uh, this has come out of his budget. Uh, they've not asked us for anything other than our support. Uh, this has been incredibly hard for our staff, who's really young. Mm -hmm. If you've ever been to the Capitol, you see a young staff. Mm -hmm. um, and for many of them, this is the first time they've dealt with anybody who's died. Uh, and so he and his staff have uh, been extremely supportive uh, in a time where it's been a lot of grieving for a man who was really a father figure for a lot of these mm. young staffers yeah. uh, who came to work for you, McKean. Uh, so I have to say that uh, this was a unifying time for a lot of folks here at the Capitol. And as you'll see, you, McKean was uh, in his previous life, a general contractor who uh, built houses, which is really kind of funny since he uh, literally raised this house uh, in a transitional period of time. Uh, he was a man who believed in crossing the aisle and building coalitions. Um, he was really somebody who liked to work behind the scenes and make friends. He and Alec Garnett and, uh, and his partner, uh, Hugh McKean's partner, Amy Parks, they were really good friends. They spent lots of time together. Matter of fact, one of the first couples that came to uh, Amy Parks' house uh, after you had died was Alec. Uh, they spent uh, lots of hours talking about you. Uh, and uh, I know this is going to be an emotional day for him. So you wouldn't think that uh, by some of the, the, the fierce politics you saw on Tuesday night, right. but uh, that's really not the case, not here at the Capitol. Wow. Yeah. yeah, we heard from so many lawmakers, Republican and Democrat, just praising Hugh McKean for his right. uh, service, for his character. And so uh, thank right. you for joining us this morning and giving us a little window into Absolutely. Hugh McKean as a person and as a leader and into the honor that he'll right. receive today at the Rotunda. Thank you, Roger. Absolutely. Uh, well, and today's event, as we mentioned, is noteworthy. McKean, only the seven, 47th person to lie in state in Colorado, according to history professor Derek Everett and other sources we checked. Uh, the list includes lawmakers, judges, military heroes, and even some businessmen. The first ever uh, was Lieutenant Governor-elect George Robinson in 1880. He was accidentally shot by a guard at his gold mine. Uh, the most recent, as uh, Roger just mentioned, there was uh, Lieutenant Governor Joe Rogers in 2020. 13. And some other names you might recognize here, Henry C. Brown of the Brown Palace, David Moffat of the Moffat Tunnel, and Buffalo Bill Cody.